how to add multiple languages in Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be telling you how you can add multiple languages within Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto Shopify, right? Well, then what you're going to do is you want to come over here onto settings. And here you're going to see you have all these different options. Here you will also find languages right here at the bottom. So if you click on language here, you can see you've got your published languages, which is going to be default. You've got add a language, all right? Adding translation to your store improves cross-border conversions by average of 13%. So it's free, it takes minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. So first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add language. Here, you're gonna go ahead and select the language that you want. So you can see you have all these different languages. So let's say we want, um, what is like a second most common language? It should be Mandarin because of the population, but I don't know if a lot of people speak it. I mean, of course, a lot of people speak it. What? That's not what I mean. I meant like, you know, like how people speak English in different countries. Like you can see Chinese people speaking English, but English people won't be able to speak Chinese. You know what I mean? So let's say we want in German. Yeah, let's go with German. So here we go. So store content you added, such as products, pages, scripts, translations. Professional German translations are included for checkout cookie banners and everything. So we should be good to go. So we're going to select German and then click on add language. And here we go. The German was added successfully. What's next? All right. So here we go. And down below, you can see unpublished languages. So these languages are only visible to you. So you can see no translations were added. So if you want to, you know, translate it, we can click on translate. We even have the localization for English, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and click on translate. To do that, we do need to add this application right here, which is Shopify Translate and Adapt. It's already added. So we can just simply click on it and open it up. And when we do that, you can see right here, localized content is going to be in Germany. So you can see all the sections, all the pages or all the options within Shopify that require translations. You've got collections, products, uh, blog posts, you've got blog titles, cookie banners, menus, templates, everything is going to be available to you over here. You can go ahead and click on auto translate, right? Automatically translate your store content using translation software powered by Google Translate. And you're about to use automatic translation for German. This will be the first of your two free languages. After German, you can auto translate into one more language, all right? You can go ahead and do that, or you can just simply go ahead and click on the option that you want. So let's say collection we want. We click on collection here. We can go ahead and get started with the translate and adapt option. You can see right here. So let me just get rid of this real quick. There we go. All right. So here we go. So this is the uh, homepage. This is the title source is English right here, reference. And this is in German. You can see right here. So front page over here in English is going to be over here. Home page is over here. You can go ahead and manually do this. So let's say home pages in German is, uh, let me just go ahead. Okay. So if we go ahead and copy this, go over to Google. I already copied this one right here. So front page is title site or start site. I don't know how to pronounce that. Let me see what it is. Actually go ahead and click on it. So it's Titel Zeiter. So we can go, I butchered it, I'm sorry. But we can go ahead and copy it and then come over here and paste it. Titel Zeiter. I'm sorry again. Now for the home page, I'm going to come over here and paste the home page option. It should be, okay, it's Start the Zeiter. That's what I think. Let me check the pronunciation. All right, before you couldn't hear it, but I think you can hear it right now. Start Zeiter. Start Zeiter. I think it's close enough. So we can copy it and come back over here and paste it so this is how you can do it manually all right then you click on save now you have to do this over and over again for all these different options and it will take some time but not that much because if you come over here if you have a lot of options then you can of course use the auto translate but if you don't have a lot of options like blog titles i don't have a lot of blogs so i don't really need this cookie banners these are already going to be in you know translated by the professional so we don't need to mess around with that if you see translation that are already you know translated like availability is i'm not even going to try if they're already translated you don't need to do that you can just simply go ahead and open this up one by one and you can just simply go ahead and do it so contact was not added so let me just try that so if i click on contact so in german it's going to be contact right contact uh sorry it's the same pronunciation contact uh contact touch contacts there are other options but yeah we can just contact yeah we can just copy that and just paste it in german over here and contact there we go save it 
and pages of course pages were done right yeah pages were done policies policies should already be translated yeah there we go so we don't really need to mess around with that same thing with store meta the page you're looking for couldn't be found so okay store meta i don't know it wasn't available so let's go ahead and move on to the content to the menu section so in menu here we go so main menu let me copy that and paste it main menu hopped menu hopped menu so hopped menu i don't know i think this would be much better with the space or without the space i'm not sure but i'll go with without the space since you know main menu without the space hopped menu without the space so add that over here same with home i think it's home is going to be very similar to english time 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 all right so time is going to be over here for home and catalog and we already know catalog okay catalog 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 over here and contact was with k so um, just paste that again just for you know the sake of it why not and then just paste it over here there we go save it so now this is how you can do it you know manually you can of course go with auto translate so let me go ahead and do that auto translate yeah translate it into auto uh it's doing it over here they will send you an email to your email over here when the translation is complete larger stores may take several hours Leave this page will not store, but since I didn't have a lot of contacts or a lot of content in my website or my pages, it literally just took seconds and there we go. So now if we click on over here, view our store in Germany, we can see right here, it should be in Germany. Where is it? Review and translation. All right. It's not, oh, no, it's not. It is not in Germany. Let me see what this is. It was not view store. Maybe because I need to activate the language selector. So let me check that because I remember I turned that off. Go back into themes and customize. Maybe check whether or not we have a language selector. Header. There we go. Here we should have language selector. There we go. And language settings. There we go. Translate. And we need to publish. Okay. So it was unpublished. Sorry about that. There we go. So let me go back into my editor, click on save, see whether or not it's available. Okay, here we go. So English is over here. Let me open up my store in another tab, reload it. All right, English is here. Then German is going to be Deutsch. I don't know how to pronounce it. There we go. All right, so there you go. So now we can have uh, multiple languages in our Shopify store. So again, pretty simple. Uh, you come over here. Uh, let me exit this section right here. Come over here, go into settings, right? And click on languages. And here, of course, you can set up two more languages. So we have English, German. We can set up one more. All right. So I'm going to add one more language. Click over here and I'm going to search for my native language. If I can find it, it should be over here. There we go. Click on add. Also going to review it as well. So here we go. Translate, adapt. Yep. Let me go ahead and click over here. Click on the button. Now, I could do this on my own, but I'm going to, you know, skip that and let it do its own thing. So it should take a couple of seconds. As I said before, if it's, you know, larger stores and you have more content, it's going to take hours, maybe even, you know, days, depending on how much content you have in your posts, depending on how much content you have in your website. But yeah, since I don't have a lot, um, it should take a couple of more seconds. All right, so there we go, it's done. So now we can go ahead and view it on our store. So if I click over here, open it up, we can see we have English, uh, I forgot to publish it, sorry. Let me go back on over here, publish, there we go. So now, let me just reload this for a sec. Now we have, and we should have three, to make this language available to the customer, enable it any markets where you want. So let me go ahead and check that out. Okay, so here we have languages, it's available over here and if we go international it is available as well although i don't understand why it's not appearing over here. it should appear there we go or there we go it's available now we just needed a one sec all right so there we go all right so the translation is pretty accurate all right here is yeah yeah everything is actually pretty decently translated yeah so there you go. This is how you can have multiple different languages in your Shopify store. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.